Okay, now that we got all of our pieces ready, we'll go ahead and start sewing it together. Um, I'm going to put be putting a zipper on the top of mine. You don't have to if, if you don't want to, but this is a 7 inch zipper. So when I sew together, I need to make sure I leave an opening that size. So we'll start and get your two two shell pieces and take these outer edges that we did and hold them together like that and we're going to be slip stitching these together and that's how we're going to sew it with the slip stitch so we'll just start and chain one okay now we're going to go back into we're going to do it the same way we sewed them before but with the slip stitch so we're just going to do put our needle through this this one and through the other side in that same stitch that we just uh, chained, chained one in. Oh. And slip stitch. Just like that. And we're going to go to the next stitch. And then the next stitch on the other ring. Slip stitch. And then the next stitch and the next stitch on the other ring and slip stitch and if you wanted to sew these together with single crochet I'm sure you could you would just have that single crochet lip around the edge and that's fine it's not gonna look bad or anything but I'm just using single or er, slip stitch I'm just going through this ring and then the stitch on the other ring and slip stitching. And I'm going to do this oops, all the way around. But I am going to leave that about an opening for the zipper. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this until I get about halfway around. Okay, I just kept going until I got up here to where I'm going to put my zipper. And I'm just majoring. I'm just holding my zipper right here where I started. So I know where to stop. And I'm just following it around. And then I know I need to single crochet to about right here. So just measure it with your hand. Measure it like that. stick a piece of yarn there so I know when I need to quit single crocheting as a marker or slip stitching I'm sorry I've been slip stitching so I'm just going to continue slip stitching slip stitching it together just like I was until I get to that marker to where I know I need to stop because that's where my zipper is going to be just like this Okay, and here's my stitch marker, so I'm just going to do a slip stitch in it, and that's where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to tie off right here, and I'm going to hide my tail. Just hide it like you normally would. 
through the stitches, weave it in and out a couple times. Okay. I might have stuffed him a little full, but I think he's still going to work out. That's what mine looks like so far. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and sew on the body. We're going to do that with the yarn needle. I'm going to use the same color that I used for his body. So I'm just going to cut me a string of it. And grab his body. Okay, we got our top here. So we're going to be working down here. And I'm going to sew him through my top here. So I'm going to put him how I want him. Remember I made him flat down here because that's what I want to sew. Or that's what I want the bottom to be. And I want his, his head to come up a little bit. So wherever you want to put him though. And just take your needle and I would just stick it in. Stick it in here. It's going to be a little awkward. And hold him with your other hand. And stick your needle straight through the bottom. Once you get him about where you want him. And I'm just going to go through the bottom part. I'm not going to stick my needle through this part. And I'm just going to grab a piece. And, and it, like I said, it is going to be kind of awkward. But we'll get him. My needle through there. And hold my string on the inside so it don't come all the way through. And then put it back through. Just anywhere because you're not going to see these stitches. And pull it back through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stick my hands in here and take these two strings and tie a little knot. So it doesn't come undone. And like I said, I know it's kind of awkward. But I really wanted to get it sewn together first so I could tell where I was putting my my body. Okay. I got a little knot made there. Okay, now I'm just going to go back through again, through the bottom with my needle. Get his body where I want it, and just grab his, get my needle through there, down a little bit from where I went last time, and grab his body again. And I'm just doing, I'm not doing this part, I'm just doing this part, for now. And pull it through. This is probably going to be the most awkward part of the whole project. Not really hard, it's just, it's just awkward. And I'm going to go back through. Now I'm going to do it again. Go down here. Grab another little part of his body. I'm just going to kind of do that to hold it in place. Just a few stitches here and there. And then I'm going to come over and do the head. I'm going to I'm going to sew it up a little bit. 
higher. See what I got so far. So his head up a little bit higher. So I'm just going to do the same thing with his head. Put it where I want it. And put a couple stitches in there to hold it down. Like this. And do another one. Up a little bit higher. And then back through. And another one. A little bit higher. And then back through. And probably just go on the inside of my bag, stretch it out a little bit. And hide, weave this in and out of there a little bit to hide it and knot it off. And do that with the other end too. So just weave it in, put a few knots in it, and do that to the other end. so far probably might me wanna I'll probably come back in and do a few more with this tail I'm gonna put a couple couple stitches here I think this time I might do it on the outside try it just for the tail piece well I'm gonna have to go through the inside I guess a little bit but I'm just gonna grab his tail stitches with it and if you want to do the whole body like this really you can it's it's however you feel comfortable sewing him on I'm gonna put a knot there and do a couple more I'm just going in his in his little tail and then through through here through his tail and then through the bag part and then back out. Through his tail. Like that. And through the bag part. Back out. Like that. Might have been easier just to do the whole body like this, really. Like I said, I film these as I go, so <laughs> sometimes I do. But if you want to do the bag part like I did from the inside, I mean, it was awkward, but it worked too. I think he's on pretty secure, so I'm going to hide this tail too. Knot it up and hide it. Pull it kind of tight. And do a couple stitches here in the end so it doesn't come undone. And hide my tail. Like that. A couple times. Okay, let me look at him and see what we got so far. And I'm going to push my foam fill back here to the end. Might have to straighten that all out. It has to be moved sometimes. Okay. Okay, he's looking pretty cute so far. I think. I think he's sewed on pretty good. I don't think he's going to come undone. And you put just as many stitches as you feel comfortable with. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to sew the zipper on, and then I'll probably put some antennas and some ice. So you're going to need a regular 
regular sewing needle and some thread for the zipper part. So I'm gonna go dig me up some thread. Okay, I just been sewing the zipper on and it's real easy. It just have regular thread and a needle and I just uh, doubled my thread there. Put, just folded it in half and then used two strands together. And it's real easy. You just unzip your zipper And then, you can do it with a sewing machine too, if you have one. I don't have one. <laughs> Probably going to get one though. And you just hold your edge of your zipper up like this. And just do some stitches through your... Through that and through... Through the zipper, the cloth on the zipper, and then through the your stitch up here. And you're not going to be able to see the thread or anything. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. The zipper, it's real easy. Probably would be easier with the sewing machine. But this works just fine too. That's what I got. So it's looking like. I already did my other side, but my stitches aren't really that straight or anything, but as long as it holds. I already did this. Oh. I just did the same thing around this side and I just go around just sew around here and go back down the other side. Oh. And I already went around the other side, but you continue just to go back around. It's really easy. And then when you get done, I just tie a little knot in it. Oh, oh. keep losing it. Put a couple little knots in it. And then cut it off. 
and then you got your zipper on. It's real, real easy to put a zipper on. That's how that looks. So now people can put their stuff in there. Just like that. Okay. I started to do a little antenna. I made one. I'll show you how I made the other one here. <clears throat> Okay, for his antennas, I just used two pieces of string together. And I made a slip knot. Leave a little bit of a tail there that you can sew them on with. And I did a nice, kind of a tight chain of eight. Eight. And then I just made a knot there. And then I just took it and made a little knot here at the top. Like that. Cut this off. And then you want to use your yarn needle. And Load up one of these strings. Like that. And decide where you want to sew them. I got one on here, so... Probably just do the other one over here somewhere. And then just sew it on, like, with your yarn. And then under like that. Get it sewed on the right way. Once you get him facing the direction you want. And then I'm going to run a needle through the bottom of that stitch. Through the bottom of the chain. And then sew it in underneath of here again, like that. See? Just a couple times to get it on there nice and tight. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to take this other string that I had left over and I'm going to tie a little knot in it. That. Clip off my. And there's his little antennas that I got going on. Now his eyes. I'm going to put some, a couple eyes on. You can use whatever you want. You can use buttons or googly eyes. Or you can just sew on some eyes with some yarn. Whatever you want to do. I actually got these little eyes I'm going to use. And I'm going to glue them on. I actually got these off of... Um, I found some stuffed animals at the resale shop that had eyes on them that I liked. I cut, I cut the eyes off of them. I know that's kind of sick, but <laughs> so I could reuse them for my when I make uh, teddy bears and stuff and stuff like this. I know I'm, I'm weird, but it's a way to repurpose them. So I'm just gonna use hot glue. And glue them on. Because hot glue is what it works the best with yarn. Just don't do it. Use a, if you do use hot glue on yarn, just don't use a high heat hot, hot glue gun. It'll probably melt your yarn up. But low heat works really good to glue things on yarn. Okay, there's one eye. I'm going to go ahead and glue my other one on real quick. I got my eyes on him. Hot glue on him. 
Okay, now I'm just going to sew a little mouth on him. If you want to, you can. Um, I just got my thread. Just kind of tie a little knot here. You can sew your mouth on any way though that you want. Whatever works. Make a little embroidered mouth. I'm going to go back through and kind of come up over here. You do it however works for you. And go back up here where I started. <laughs> kind of goofy looking, but just give him a little smile. And I'm just going to tuck this black yarn underneath the brown. And clip it off. I'll do the same with this end. I'm just tucking it underneath this. Pull it out over here on this end. And then clipping it. Pull it tight and clip it. That way it goes back inside him. But he won't come undone either. So there's this little he kind of looks like a nerd, but <laughs> it's his little mouth. Is that my bride? So you see him? He don't look too bad, I guess. A little dorky, but you can get him so you can see him. Ugh. That's what his mouth looks like. Okay. Now, you can leave it like this if you want and be done with it. But I'm going to put a handle on it so my little, little boy can carry it around. Just a quick and easy handle. So I'm just going to grab some yarn. Start with the slip knot. And I'm going to start doing a chain. And I'm going to do the chain for as long as I want my handle. So you can have a long handle or a short handle. Okay, and just test it out. Okay, I did mine with a chain of 60, but you can do yours longer or shorter, and you can do two handles, or you can just do one handle, I'm just going to do one. Also, you can also make it a backpack, where you do two long straps, so two ends up here, and then bring them down, so two ends here, so it can be a backpack, however you want to do it. Well, for mine, I'm going to do a handle, I did 60. And now, on the third chain from the hook, we don't count the one that's on the hook, I'm going to do a double crochet. It's 
like that. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in every chain or every stitch across the chain all the way to the end. So it's just a really simple handle. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine real quick and then I'll show you how to sew it on. Okay, I just got my handle made, which is just that one row of double crochet. You can make it thicker if you want, though. And I'm just going to sew it right up here by my zipper. I'm just going to sew it right on. Just do a few stitches through the inside of the bag. It's hard to... <laughs> he's maneuvering because he's so fat. And then back up through. Just hold it where you want it. So, I'm going to finish sewing this handle on just like that. It's real easy. And then I'm going to put it back over here on the other side. Next to, on the other side of the zipper. And then we'll see what it looks like. i my handle on. And, I know you probably can't see it that well, but. This is it. This is the bag. Set him up right here. That's all there is to him. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel please so I can build up my channel and keep making tutorials. And if you make this bag, you could post a picture on my Facebook page, the Bag A Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link below. That'd be great. You can get on there and check it out. I always put all my newest bags on it. And until next time, have a good night.